I mean, I, I'm trained in CPR. Yeah, I had a CPR class. We had a CPR class in my house, actually, after Sabrina really? was born. Yeah, and everybody came over. I should do pastries. it again. I haven't done it in six or seven years. I mean, if something happened years. to you guys, like you were choking or something, I'd get it out of you. You would? I know Mr. Heimlich. Dr. Yeah, that's, Heimlich. that's right. You, you do know. Is I got this alive? stuff out of Tom. What's that? He was choking last month on a bagel. Really? Jerry yeah. Heimlich, Heimlich, the guy. You here. did? Yeah. What? This is the did first time I'm hearing of this. No, we talked about this. Uh, no, we I, didn't. No, what we happened didn't. was we didn't. you and I briefly talked about it on the on the post-game podcast, and you said you didn't want to discuss it. No, oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't want to be a hero. Oh, now all of a sudden he wants to discuss Wait, it. This is unbelievable. Because well, we were talking about the Heimlich. So how did you know that oh this was God. going on? Because I heard him kind of struggling to call me. I thought he was just saying hi. <laughs> he was by the water machine. And? And he started waving me over, and I noticed he was having trouble breathing. And? I, so Jerry I saved his turned life. him around and a couple of uh, chest compressions, and it came up. So here's the thing. This guy... Is Jerry's a superhero? No, he acted like it was nothing. Did the same thing anyone else would do? He's like, uh, uh, you, you, Jerry. This is like pulse of the people award winning stuff. Don't you understand that? We are nominated. Look at me, bitches. That's right. We have to. We have to make sure this gets into the pulse of the people committee. Because Gio's trying to win it just for taking a guy to the Islander game. You (laughs) saved the man's life. life. I can't even argue with this. Like I I said, anyone else would have done it. I'm not sure I would have done. So, uh, from your perspective, what happened here? Um, so I had heated up my lunch, and being the pandemic, it was very scarce in the newsroom. Just yes. me and Jerry. I had chicken cutlets sitting at my cube. All of a sudden, I can't breathe. I stay calm. I walk to the water jug, try to fill up my water bottle, take a sip of water. I can't swallow it. <clears throat> I say, okay, something's really wrong here. I look in the newsroom. All I see is Jerry with his headphones on. I start banging <laughs> on the table, try to get his attention. Luckily, Jerry sees me, comes running over. Do you need help? Do you need help? I start shaking my head. Yes, yes, I do. Without hesitation, gives me the Heimlich maneuver. Cough something up into the garbage. Oh, wow. So did you not, you were eating too fast and... I think it was a eating too fast. I had chicken cutlets and rice. So I think it was a combination of something got stuck or, and just eating too fast. Wow. And that's amazing. And that Jerry's never, a hero. That's never happened to you before where you've choked on anything or anything like that? Nothing in my 32 years like wow. that has ever happened. Before. Now, what have you done to thank Jerry? Uh, I gave you bought him a chicken cutlet. He did. Hero or something he bought or me or... lunch with a gift card. Which he was, did. Which I... Tried to give back to him. I don't know, Jerry, how to say thank you for saving my life. I don't know if there's anything you can do. No, you do exactly what you did to him. I mean, and Jerry, you should be like very flattered that he. I was. I. I You tried to give it back to him. Just take it and say, "Hey, anyone would have done it." It is. He's a coworker, friend of ours. Anyone would have done it. Mm, it doesn't, Al, tell, Al but, would not have done it. <laughs> yeah, was, I agree. You can't just say anybody would have done it. He uh, would have tried to find an it. engineer or something. <laughs> now, <laughs> like on, on the red phone. The wire room, yeah. <laughs> Help! <laughs>